the three bits of FOD that we're expecting now. Uh, the first one is, of course, the FOMC meeting. Depending on where you are, that falls on the 19th or the 20th, right? So we're expecting a bit of bad news. I know people think that's already priced into the market, but the market always responds negatively when there's a hike or some kind of hawkish pause. So most people think there's going to be a pause, but a hawkish uh, pause. So I think that's going to cause a bit of a dip, right? Now, we already had a dip yesterday. God knows why. I'm, I wasn't quite sure why that happened, but it dipped significantly more than Bitcoin did, for instance. Normally, it would follow Bitcoin in the dip, but it didn't. It dipped way more. So we saw 1.7% or something in Bitcoin with something like a 5% dip on um, XRP. Now, normally, altcoins obviously dip harder than Bitcoin, but XRP dipped a lot more than pretty much every other coin except Solana, which also had a pretty bad day. And talking of Solana, the second bit of FUD is related to FTX. Now, with FTX, I've actually tried to look into their account to try and do a bit of research to see what they hold and what they don't, because now they've been allowed to sell off some of their tokens, I guess, to pay back some of their customers. FTX actually delisted XRP when the lawsuit started with the SEC, right? But just because they delisted something doesn't mean that they sold off their stash. So it's very possible that they were holding it anyway. When I did an inquiry, I got one result saying that they did hold XRP and I got another result that they didn't hold XRP. Their largest holdings are Bitcoin and Solana. So you can see the FUD already in Solana that they're going to sell off that asset pretty aggressively. And a lot of people are basically braced for that. Now, if they do hold XRP, then obviously we're expecting them to dump that as well. And a significant organization like FTX would hold quite a fair bit of tokens that will move the market when they do dump. So that's another one that everyone's expecting to happen. The third, uh, the third one is actually not a direct one. It's related again to Bitcoin. There's a death cross that everyone's staring at actually. And uh, what usually happens when a death cross happens is a massive crash in the price. And a crash in the price of Bitcoin is gonna drag absolutely everything else as low as possible. And if we have three of these back to back, we might see prices that we haven't seen for many, many months. A lot of people with a bit of dry powder on the side, they are getting ready for a bonanza because you best believe if it wicks down to something like 20 cents, like some people are even saying, then in essence, we're going to see some people back in the truck and gathering as much as possible not financial advice of course do your own research but just brace yourself for pretty hard times ahead